at for like twenty dollars or Woo-hoo. something big like that. Now, what address is that? Yeah, <laughs> well, let us go over. We'll, we'll get into this Easter egg hunt. And I want to break in real quick, talking about all of this good stuff. If you just tuned in, you're listening to Let's Go Shopping with Bev, co-host Christina. And we are live right here in the Carousel Mall with KCAA 1050, the station that leaves no listener behind. And if you want any more information about this program or any other program that we've done, you you can call 909-797-8291. Again, that number is 909-797-8291. And everybody, including myself, is waiting very patiently for the birth of the new website. Uh, we had a little complication last week, so hopefully it's going to go in labor pretty soon and this thing will be born very quickly. We're waiting for it and see what happens. And um, Eric is on the board with us. And uh, if you want to tickets for Tuesday with Maury, please call in 888-909-1050. That number for free tickets is 888-909-1050. Call in, and this is one play. You you really don't want to miss this. Really, uh, believe it or not. No, so call in. Eric will take your name and number, and you can pick up the tickets between Thursday, uh, Monday, and Thursday of next week, Monday through Thursday, anytime before 4 o'clock, you can call in and you can pick up your tickets and you can see Christina and I. I don't know if Diane will be with us. It depends how she feels for this yeah. fluey thingy. But, yeah, we're definitely going to be there. And that's April 14th at 8 o'clock. So if you're available, you better call in and get those tickets. April 14th at the beautiful California Theater of Performing Arts. Yeah, and I just got a note here from... Some goose, I don't know, there's chickens running around the station here, and it says, I have, I have the goose that laid the golden egg. Ha ha. If you see a rabbit or a goose or something running around the station, let us know because we gotta see this guy. You know what? I just felt that too. <laughs> I know, I know, I wondered what that was. Who's going around goosing people? I don't know. I wonder if Richard is in the building. It's gotta be Richard. Yes. <laughs> Richard in his chicken suit or goose suit or whatever. And talking about suits, you know what we need to talk about? What? Definitely the headdress ball because, oh, it's coming up, boys and girls. We're getting so excited about this thing. Well, you know, it is getting down to the wire. And uh, as you know, it's April 28th at the National Orange Show. It's the 51st annual signature headdress ball hats off to our communities. Um, something very unique, never been done before. Nine organizations under one roof actually wearing the headdresses. And right now, it's been crunch time. I don't think we've had a free nine Night or day, the designers are busy making their extravagant headdresses. The models are rehearsing their steps. The music is being played over and over. The show is getting ready uh, with the director, Carol Dixon. All the segueing has happened. Um, the number starts out with a Mission Impossible number. I love that. The music. centerpieces <laughs> are extravagant, beautiful. Um, actually, uh, they're going to sell them. We haven't done that for a while. So oh, they are. They're going to sell them. They're, all, they're already selling um, pretty quickly. But there is a events page on Facebook where you can take a peek at it and uh, go from there. Um, but more importantly, uh, if you want to still get a ticket, uh, the seating is going to be happening sometime next week. But uh, tickets are still available. There is a matinee. So if you want to go with your girlfriends or go with, you know, t- uh, take mom for uh, a pre-Mother's Day gift, um, you can go during the day. The doors open at 10 o'clock. Wonderful same show during the day. The only thing that changes out at night is uh, some of the decor, and the doors will open at 5 o'clock. And they're also going to have a live band for music. So you can still call uh, Bobby Symington, and you can call Bobby at 909-862-0732. That's 909-862-0732. If you want to look at pictures or see more information, you look, can look at Assistance League of San Bernardino's website, or you can find them on Facebook. So I know I'm really excited. I'm chairing and uh, co-chairing with Bobby Symington. It's my fourth time, and it's probably my last time, so I'm really um, pulling out everything. If you're going to go see, this is the year to see because you are going to see some spectacular lighting and shows and decor and all the who's who. It's star-studded that night. So come out and um, do some networking, have some fun, and eat a good meal and watch a fabulous show without going to Las Vegas. 
Well, I know I am definitely going to be there, and I'm so excited. And, yes, we are going to be at the luncheon, and then we'll figure out the schedule for the evening. There's so many things going on. You know, it's kind of hard to be everywhere at the same time. But I know I and Diane will definitely be at the luncheon. We have been waiting very right. patiently for this. We have been working behind the scenes with Christina. We've been bumping this out. And I went out, and I found a new suit. Oh. Yes, I finally found this suit. Well, this I've is been the time to, to wear find. it, to yes. show, show yourself off and have fun. You know, part of, I think, festivities um, is dressing, you know. Oh, yeah. The, it's a fun and, part. and, of course, since we like to shop and we are a shopping uh, show, mm-hmm. you know, it is the time you want to look your best out there. But um, you're going to have so much fun. I'm so excited for you. And I'm, I can't I'm excited wait. for us. Every, rehearsals have been going on Wednesdays, Thursdays, almost, you know, s- Sundays. Now they're double rehearsing because everybody wants to do a good job. Um, we just finished the last of our print for the pro- program book, ready to go out, um, you know, with all kinds of accolades and information about the Assistance League and our philanthropic projects, which, of course, is Operation School Building the Dental Center. But mm-hmm. we'll have more to talk about next week when the director, uh, you're going to be interviewing Carol Dixon, and that will be fun to hear the behind the scenes. Yes, what that goes will. goes on? And so make sure you tune in next week to hear about this all because it's absolutely amazing. And when one is sitting in the audience and they see that all these dress heads and dress heads. Yeah, dress heads, right? These ladies walking down with these headsets that were like hang among a big and in the fashions and this and that. It's you go oohs and ahs. <laughs> but wait till you find out what happens behind the scene. When you get behind that curtain, it is a madhouse. It's absolutely fabulous to have that opportunity to see it. And every dollar that is spent either to to purchase your ticket or tickets for the live auction, the silent auctions, what that money goes to, it it gives me goosey bumps and tears in my eyes every time I think about it. That's why we get so involved with you and all the other ladies and and the gentlemen. We can't forget the guys because there's a lot of guys that work very hard with us. And that's why we do it. But, yeah. You know, do this. You're helping a child from Operation School Bell for brand new clothes, a new toothbrush, something that they never had before, to to get into school, to have their teeth checked when they're in first grade, to make sure that they're growing like they should be growing. I mean, it's one thing after. We could go on forever talking about it. Yeah. Just go out, buy the ticket, come and see, and have a good time. And us ladies are going to be there. And then, you know, th- um, you know, if you can't go and you'd like an opportunity ticket, we have some great prizes. I just scored on some... Uh, Angels tickets in the club view. We've got Laker tickets coming in. So there's all kinds of ways. And I gave you the phone number, and you can call 862-0732. Uh, Talk to Bobby and uh, get your tickets. Anyway, yeah. um, I wanted to tell you something kind of exciting I did this week. Oh, what did you do? Well, you did. as you know, I'm really involved with Inland Women Fighting Cancer, mm-hmm. and you know we had our walk. You guys were there. Yes. And I'm getting to see the fruits of the labor because on Wednesday we went over to Redlands Community Hospital and presented them with a check for $100,000 for an ultrasound machine. We all Yay. know preventive is the best. You know, you know, finding early detection and stuff. And then we went to St. Bernadine's yesterday and gave them a check for $50,000 for um, cancer patients and machines. And we're getting ready to give out a few more. So I just wanted to say that because it was so exciting, and it's nice to know that every dime from that walk goes directly here to the community and directly to um, helping uh, cancer patients with early detection and to, you know, help um, these hospitals that need a little more funds. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to blurb that out. It's so exciting. It is. And Save uh, the date, uh, October 7th. Right, and a lot of people, they don't realize all, all the things that we I in this station is involved with. We do a lot of community stuff because it's helping everybody. And like I said, you want to get a tear in your eye, you know, get a smile on your face, get some goosey bumpies, get involved with these, and you're going to help out so many people. And talking about helping people out, now, Miss Christina, Ali <laughs> Lezani, uh, you work for Bliss Salon, and what is new about the hair coloring? 
talking yeah. about getting ready for bling bling. They just went to a class. You know, they carry the Bumble and Bumble products. And there's something <laughs> there's something new out there with Bumble and Bumble. It's called Color Minded. And uh, a lot of people out there that have gotten their color know they fade and stuff, and uh, they're just getting it in. And it's uh, one, of a, one of a kind, and it's going to make your hair, like, more manageable and shiny and keep your color on longer. And that's the latest thing that they're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you can uh, call Bliss. Uh, they're located on 421 West Redlands Boulevard, right on the corner, kind of diagonally across from the foamy car wash. And um, their uh, number is 335-2505. So 909-335-2505. And you can get your uh, shiny new Bumble and Bumble yes, service but, but with your head massage and scalp and all that good stuff. And what's the name of the car wash across the street? Uh, <laughs> foamy car wash. So like, drop your car okay. off at foamy car, car wash. wash, and then go across the street to Bliss Salon to with s- Christine and the girl, and then you get your new hair color, which is bubble bubble, bubble bubble. She says bubble bubble. bubble. You can do a bubble bubble after your bumble and bubble. There you go. So but your you know car. What? Wait a minute. Now this is funny. Your car can get all clean and shiny with bubble bubbles from the car wash. They can go to you. They can get the bubbly <laughs> bubbly for their hair. Wash your hair, and it's nice and shiny and clean, and you and the car are going to be happy. Look at you. You'll be driving down the road looking gorgeous. Shiny new. What a deal. <laughs> but you know what I like about this season? It's also, uh, you know, we're always looking for sales and good deals to tell you about. And I like this time of the year because it's baseball time, mm-hmm. and we're looking for good things to do with our children that are, are inexpensive. And a lot of times, going to a Dodger game or an Angel game right now is so expensive, but I but found what? out that they are doing uh, four tickets, four Dodger dogs, four Cokes, um, and, of course, you know, at the game, at the stadium, $18 per ticket. So if you no want way. I think that's cool. So I wanted to bump that out and tell people that you can uh, go on to Dodgers.com and look up value packs. So there's something um, fun you can do during the season right now. And there's nothing like a good ball game. Yeah, the 66ers, I, I heard us mentioning something earlier about the 66ers game. Mm-hmm. Well, they won their opener with Rancho Cucamonga. So of you course. can even just come right here to the 66ers game, take your children. Uh, my grandchildren love it. And, you know, we've got a stadium right here. So Yeah, and it's really cool. And it's fun getting out there and you hear all the noise and the sound of the bat and the balls are flying and this and that. It's a fun day. So go. And guess what? It's not going to cost you a whole lot of gas either. And you can listen to the game here on your station for Inland Empire 66ers Baseball AM 1050 KCAA. And Eric, you know, that's bump all. that out one more time because <laughs> the next game is next week, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we're the station for your Inland Empire 66ers. Uh, I think first pitch is supposed to be, well, actually, coverage is supposed to start at 6.55 with your play-by-play man, Sam Farber. And it was a very exciting game last night. I worked for the game here at the station. Uh-huh. And it went 11 innings. And the Sixers won six to five. See, I love it when they go into the extra innings and it's all tied up and you're at the edge of your seat and you're chomping on that hot dog and everything and you're going, okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Yeah, and they tied it up in the ninth, so they waited to the very last possible moment to do their thing. So it was, was really Bernie exciting. there? No, I don't think Bernie what? was there because no, they played in Rancho. They're playing in Rancho. Oh, not- okay. I think the home opener is, hold on, let me look real quick. My son, here's another piece of random information. My son was Bernie for a couple of No way. Years. Yes, he was. Oh, that's cool. And he couldn't tell anybody, you know, he's supposed to keep it all quiet, but we'd go watch him. And was it really sweaty was, in there? He, was, he said it was probably, he didn't like the job, to tell you the truth. You know, my older son is a big baseball, you know, 10 years, and he pay, played amateur baseball, and he coached baseball, and he would have died for that job. But my son, my other son, who could care less, gets it, and he thought it was the worst job he ever had. Oh, man. <laughs> but but he was good at it. Really? We would laugh 